question was, what do you hope the reader will, will come away, away with? I'll tell you what. Um, people who read the book always say to me, uh, and, and I think the first time when, uh, when I handed the full manuscript to, my, to, 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 to the, the publisher and, and, and he read it, he said, he said, thanks for this. You gave me a world. And it's true that if you read this, it will take you somewhere else, which is what I think good books ought to do. It really takes you out, and you will not doubt this world. You will not, you will not, you will not. It will, it will suck you in. And that's what I do. I offer you a world. And you, you, you come out of it slightly different, I think. Um, it, it might sound like arrogance, but it's true. You, you know, I, I dare you to read this book and not be affected. You might be bored, but that's been a few <laughs> 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 But I don't think... What kind of to do you want? Yes. Yeah, um, you said you was a poet, right? Yes. Um, what kind of literary arts then? Is it possible to, to focus on, on, on the two, or do you have to lean to one because of the perfection? You can do two. I know, I, I mean, most... You can do two. I know people, like, um, one of my most... One of my favorite writers, is um, um, Jamaican living in Canada. Her name is Olive Senior. She's amazing. She's a fantastic yeah, poet. You still retain the perfection that poetry requires for it to be the art we try to perfect. Um, I don't know what you mean by perfection because I mean yes, poetry requires a certain kind of attention. It's a form that requires you know, and you have focus, right? right. But also um, the novel can be like that too. The novel, the novel has its own demands. It's not the same as poetry, but you can, I mean, for example, um, there's a book which I love, I was reading, reading it recently by this um, guy, Bulgakov, it's a Russian book. The book, I mean, you try to pull a paragraph out and you spoil it, it is so finely, and, that, and it's called a masterpiece and I accept that because it does have a, and it's, it's a novel, um, it has a quality to it, uh, and, and so, and, but then again, the, the distinction we make between poetry and prose is, is, is quite sometimes false. So I mean, we, we say, but I have read, I have read, um, I read um, Ondaatje, I read a lot of writers and stuff, and they, it's pure, it's beautiful stuff, it's poetry, except that it, it's done in a way that looks like narrative, but it is, yeah? Yes? In all your writings, yes. uh, for instance, in A Way to Catch the Dust, yes. I mean this, yes. you write to women. My question is, have you perhaps been a woman in a past life? <laughs> 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 yeah. How do you manage to do that? I'll, tell you, I'll give you a very simple, a glib answer, but it is an answer. I am my mother's child. And the last time I checked, she was a woman. <laughs> um, that is one way of putting it. But I, I, grew, up, I grew up with women. I, I didn't know. I knew men. I knew their uncles and whatever it is. But, I mean, the people who who had their hands on me were the women. And I'll tell you something else. I'll tell you something else. Um, if you want to be honest, this is something which doesn't please a lot of, of men. But if you, if you do a deep cultural, anthropological, economic, social, whatever um, study of Caribbean society, the women are the backbone. They are the vision. The men, we coming after them, just cream off the thing down, we become mm -hmm. prime minister. But logically, <laughs> I've said this before, uh, logically, the, Caribbean, the people who should run the Caribbean in the government should the ministers and prime ministers should be women logically. I mean, I, you don't like it, right? But it's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I like it when I first realized that? I didn't, but it's true. And mm -hmm. it, as a writer, you have to. Uh, uh, if you're doing literary fiction, you have to face the truth, right? And if I were to write, I could not. If I had written about men the way I wrote about women, it would have been a lie, because men are not like that in in in, in Caribbean um, Caribbean life. You know, anybody want to challenge me on that? I just put all the facts and just dazzle you. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. And that's one at one level. But also, I mean, I've lived with my, I mean, you know, and maybe, yeah, I've got a feminine side. So you were a woman in the past. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm not> <laughs>